What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those who are new here, hello and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, hey girl. So today I wanted to give you guys an update on what I decided to use my Skinny Classic Planner for. If you follow me and watched my 2022 planner lineup, specifically for my mini, this was included in <laughs> that lineup but at the at that time <clears throat> so at that time i had no idea what i wanted to do with this however i have made the goal to want to finish some books and start some new ones i'm not just a huge reader if i'm being honest i don't read just a whole lot but i definitely want to make that be something like into the rotation. I need to add that into the rotation of specifically my self-care regimens. It, it'll it slow me down at the end of the night rather than me like watching TV or looking at my phone or whatever. Listening or reading a good book is what I plan to do at the end of the night to kind of wind me down. This is a faith-based planner, which, you know, you can use it that way. But for me, I'm using it more as like my book planner. So, um, I kept this little envelope in here. I never put my name in here. Wow, let's go on ahead and solidify this. Now that, you know, I know for a fact that this is what I'm using this for. So, let me get one of these guys. And these are from Creating with Mandy. I think, yeah, I'll use this last little big one here. So yay, it's official. We know what we are using this planner for. So yeah, like it says here, it is a faith edition. So each one of the dividers either has like an inspirational quote or a scripture. That does not bother me at all. Like I said, you use things for how you wanna use things and that's just on period. So we are in January. I'll show you what I've been doing. It's not been like super consistent, but you know, we're, we're getting getting into the swing of things. Like I said, I'm not a huge reader per se, but we got goals. So I did use the month page for me to just write out my goals. So my main goal was to complete Children of Vengeance and Virtue, which is by Tom, Tomi Adeyume. I think that's how you pronounce her name. I have been, I started that book in 2020, so I've been needing to finish it and I'm so glad that I did. It turned out to be amazing. I did already finish it. So I will go on ahead. Oh, that is exciting. I already checked off one of my goals. And then I had a goal of listening four to six times a week for at least 25 minutes. So 25 minutes, that means I can listen to a book while I'm on my commute to work in the morning. I can do that while I'm getting dressed in the morning. I know that I will have at least 25 minutes to listen to a book. And like I said, in the evening, I hope to actually physically read a book, but you know, we'll get there. And then I wanted to watch reviews and make some notes of certain books that I wanted to read. So yeah, let's get into it. So this first week, I didn't really go too hard. I didn't decorate the, the pages at all. I just wrote down when I actually started and I started like before the first of the year. So that makes me proud. And then we have here the first official full week of January. I did read four days so that's perfect i should notate these things at the bottom so let's just do that okay that way i can like you know reward myself i don't know how but it just sounded like a cute idea so i just said it all right so this is last week um so i did finish my book that i planned on finishing half halfway through the month that makes me very proud as you can see i was reading for significant amounts of time because i really wanted to knock this book out 
And what I'll tell you about this, this planner that really motivates me to come back in here. I really enjoyed decorating this planner before when I was using this as my on the go planner at the beginning of 2020. Um, 2020, obviously we didn't have too many places to go. So it did not remain consistent towards, you know, the middle of like spring or so after that like I really fell off so I'm excited to just get back into this book and decorate a little bit more so you can see last week I decorated a little bit but for this week I did want to go on ahead and do a spread with you guys I don't know why but why not right so I have been using the abstract watercolors all week in all of my all of my spreads and I want to do the same in here it has that beautiful yellow tone that I really like and yeah I also pulled the modern year which has some really good quotes so we are going to just you know we're going to do a little spread while we're here but um yeah I just wanted to update you guys on that so if you want to see how I lay out this spread definitely stay tuned All right, you guys, here is what the completed spread looks like. I kind of like this abstract, real flowy, nothing super structured type look. So you guys will have to let me know what you feel about it. If you have this planner, let me know down in the comment section below. How are you using it? Are you using it 
for your catch-all, your daily on the go, just let me know. I would love to hear. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please make sure that you hit this with a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy. Also hit the bell notification. That way you are notified every single time I release a new video. Um, planner related stuff will be at the beginning of the week. I am still warning people of this because here in a second, I have a lot of good stuff planned for you guys. So the second part of the week will be more face to face and uh, more lifestyle type videos. So I'm, you know, trying to, you know, dip my toe into some different things. So hopefully you guys will stick around and enjoy. But that is it for this one. I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. If you guys have book recommendations, wait a second, book recommendations, leave them down in the comment section. I've really been liking um, kind of like sci-fi-ish, um, mystical, like, but realistic. I don't even know what that genre is called. But I also like self-help books. So maybe list your favorite self-help books down in the comment section below. Can't wait to see. Thank you all again. Wish you health, wealth, and prosperity, if I did not already say that. And until the next time, peace out.